And new at six, the state of Indiana risks its case against Richard Allen in the Delphi murders trial. Now the defense begins to present their case. Wayne 15's Marcus Truscio is live in Delphi. He tells us how this day in court was different from the others. Marcus. Taylor, as the state rests its case, this is the most dramatic day in court we've seen so far, with multiple objections from both sides and multiple pausing, pauses throughout proceedings to meet with Judge Goal. The day started with seven phone call recordings from Richard Allen to his family while he was in prison. Before the jury walked in this morning, the defense wanted to admit additional phone calls, so those calls that were shown can be taken in context to other calls made in those days. That admission was denied by Judge Judge Goal. Then, in the cross examination of the state's witness, the defense brought up additional phone calls that would add context. And then there was objection from the state five times in one minute. Then we broke for lunch. And then, upon coming back from lunch, we learned about a video that the state wanted to admit of Richard Allen in the Cass County Jail while he's been on trial in the past couple of weeks. In that video, apparently, Richard Allen was irate. He was aggressive toward jail staff, even using profanity. The defense immediately objected because this is the first time that they were hearing of this video, there were indications the state just learned of this as well. So there was a break. So the defense can see that video. Then they came back to court and immediately called for a sidebar with Judge Gull. Then Judge Gull came back and said there needed to be another break so she could watch that video. That took about 40 minutes. She got back in the courtroom at 3.30 and said that video would not be admitted in court. So then the prosecution proceeded by handing the jury Google search history from Richard Allen's account. And without saying a word about those Google searches, they rested their case. Now, the defense called two witnesses today, and they will continue to present their case tomorrow. Live in Delphi, Marcus Truccio, Wayne 15 News.